Hey y'all, I'm Ronnie from Black Box. Hey Ronnie. Hey, I'm Natalie from Black Box. Hey Natalie. Hi, Natalie. I'm Michelle. is known for are our non-fiction dances, which means we make dances about real things. As a matter of fact, that's how we learn about stuff that we don't already know. We just make dances about it. And recently, we were traveling and we went into a school and one of the teachers said that they were kind of, the students were struggling with something like knowing, understanding the difference between heat and temperature and how that energy transfer happens. And they asked us, hey, Black Box, can you guys make a dance about this? Ronnie, Natalie, we were like, no. We didn't know the answer. So we decided this is a great way to learn. The first thing we learned is that heat and temperature are not the same thing. Hmm. Heat is energy that's always on the move. And with that heat that's always on the move, it's actually moving towards cooler directions from hot to cold. Heat is energy and it can move in any direction. And while it can move in any direction, it really moves in three distinct ways. Hmm. Radiation, conduction, and convection. Radiation are the waves that transfer heat from afar. Oh, like the ones we get every day. Hey, everybody, look at Ronnie. From our yellow dwarf star. <laughs> <laughs> Conduction requires things to touch for the energy to flow. From the hot spot. To the cool spot is how this transfer goes. And convection, it changes everything like water temps and the weather because it causes the particles to kind of get mixed up and it transfers the heat together. Two really cool examples of convection tra heat transfer energy might be, hmm, let me see if you guys can guess. In the ocean, there is a current that is one temperature of water different from the temperatures of waters around it. Do you guys know what that's called? Gulf Stream. Gulf Stream. Right. Gulf Stream. That's right. Everybody go down low with the Gulf Stream. There we go. Swimming low. Fantastic. All right. Now, how about this? There's also a current of air that's a very different temperature than the air around it. And it mixes up and it changes all kinds of weather. And it's called the jet stream. Okay. Jet stream. That's where jets fly. That would have been a good clue. <laughs> Well, now that we have this knowledge, let's lay a beat on it and just get it going with our body. Let's put it in our body. That jet stream up in the air, Gulf stream down in the water, baby. Let's go. All right, here we go. Got that heat, Michelle. All right, Black Box. Let's take some of that heat energy science, let's put it in our bodies, and let's really let it move and cause some heat to get going. Okay. Y'all hear this? Yes, we do. Can 
your bodies moving. We're going to talk about heat and energy. Here's what I know. Heat is energy that's always on the move. Seeking out cooler temps to let it groove. Again. Heat is energy that's always on the move. Seeking out cooler temps to let it groove. Groove it, baby. Groove it, baby. Three distinct ways, radiation, conduction, convection. All right, y'all want to try that with yeah. me? Let's yeah. say it again. Heat is simply energy, energy that moves in any direction. direction. Three distinct ways, radiation, conduction, convection. All right, let's talk about those. Here we go. Radiation are the waves that transfer heat from afar. We get them every day from our yellow dwarf star. Woo! All right, looks like Ronnie is the yellow dwarf star. Let's talk about radiation again. Radiation are the waves that transfer heat from afar. We get them every day from our yellow dwarf star. Woo! Radiate some energy, Mr. Sun. Yes! Let's talk about conduction. Here's what I know. Get ready. Conduction requires things to touch for the energy to flow. From the hot spot to the cool spot is how the transfer goes. What was that? Wait a minute. That was so fast. Let's try that one again. Here we go. Conduction requires things to touch for the energy to flow. From the hot spot to the cool spot is how the transfer goes. All right. Conduction requires things to touch. Cool. Last one was convection. <laughs> Let's learn about convection. Six, five, six, here we go. Convection changes everything like water, temps, and weather. Causing particles to mix up and transfer heat together. Transfer some heat. <laughs> Everybody, here's the finale all together. Here we go. Heat is simply 